Stop motion is an animation technique to make a physically manipulated object appear to move on its own. Here we show a few popular examples that can be found online. Producing traditional stop motion animation is a labor intensive and non-intuitive process. It requires the animator to break the play in motion into small increments and shoot one still picture per increment. Furthermore, it requires using supporting rigs to drive the object for animation. Creating and using rigs requires skills in assembling and working with tools which amateur animators may not have. Removing rigs from the final animation is also a tedious process using existing software. We present a new stop motion production workflow mainly designed for amateur users. Our system not only allows the animator to perform the desired motion in a continuous fashion, but also allows the animator to directly use hands to drive the object motion. This is much more natural and efficient than using rigs. Our system employs a specially designed two-phase capturing process. In phase one, the user holds the object using his hands and performs the planned object motion in front of the video camera. The system then analyzes the object motion and proposes a set of keyframes for processing. In phase two, for each keyframe, the user physically moves the object to align it with the previously captured object in the keyframe using an onion skinning interface. This time the hand position must be different so that the previously occluded parts are clearly visible in the newly captured image. Our system can compute the alignment error on the fly. When the alignment error is small enough, the system automatically proceeds to the next keyframe. In the next step, for each keyframe, the system invokes an optimization algorithm to compute a composite using the two images captured in the second phase, where the user's hands are removed. In the case that the compositing contains errors, the user can use paintbrushes to correct them until a satisfactory composite is created. After two adjacent keyframes are processed, the system employs a temporal propagation method to automatically process in-between frames. Now let's look at some results. This example is easy to create by our system since the cup mostly undergoes 2D translation and rotation. However, it is hard to create using traditional methods as it requires complicated rigs and the falling water stream is difficult to animate using still images. In this example, we want to animate the lamp. For the first half of the animation, the animator uses traditional methods. For the second half, the animator uses his hand to lift up the lamp to mimic the jump motion and processes this part using our system. This is our result. This example shows that our system can be and should be used together with traditional methods to efficiently create an animation. In this example, we show that our system allows easy animation of heavy objects with direct hand manipulation. In this example, we show that our system allows easy animation of small objects. Now we show a few more results. Thank you for your attention.